Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about the Corad KA3005P programmable DC power supply. And this one is rated to go up to 30 volts and supply up to 5 amps of current. For the price, this was about $100 and uh, I was looking for something that could uh, be very easy to use, somewhat programmable via a computer, and just a good value. And uh, I got uh, I got a hold of this, and I just wanted to show you some tests. But before I do the tests, I wanted to you to also hear the uh, fan in the back. Oops. So in the back, you have the uh, power plug an RS-232 connector and a USB port and this is used to control the device uh, with your computer and I'm not going to demonstrate this this time oh. if there is a demand for that I'm going to uh, post a video of how the software works but supposedly you're able to program whatever you need to have in the output using the computer all right, so let me show you how easy it is to program this power supply. Suppose we wanted um, 5 volts and a current that goes up to 5 amps. Then what we would do is we would press the voltage current button right here. And uh, when you press it the first time, it goes to the voltage. And this, these lets you select which digit is going to change. And in this case, because these are already zeroed out and we only wanted 5 volts, we'll go to this one and we'll go ahead and adjust this. And it's very easy to adjust. It's They're very uh, tick tick. You know, you, you can't miss the actual voltage that you were looking for. Pressing it one more time will um, move to the amperage. So this basically rotates between voltage and amperage. And whenever you see the actual amperage here, that means that the output is not enabled. And uh, to have the output enabled, you need to click the on-off button. So same goes to that. Uh, you can select which digit you want to change. So suppose we want not 5, but uh, 2.5 amps maximum uh, output. And we would put that at that. Now there's a way to lock these uh, by... Uh, long pressing on this and then nothing works on the panel. Long press unlocks it and the adjustable knob will never work unless it's actually in a position where you can adjust either the voltage or the amperage. So that That is very nice. These two buttons are basically either over current protection or over voltage protection and basically it shuts the device the output off if you ever get an over voltage or over current and I'll demonstrate it in a, in a few seconds then we got the uh, ground minus and plus and the mechanical power button and let me turn it off and you're gonna see the difference in sound uh, so as you can see, the uh, the fan is noticeable. If that's an issue, then this may not be the power supply for you. All right, so let me start off by doing some tests. I'm going to show you how I change the voltage here and what my very not calibrated Craftsman uh, voltmeter will 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 tell us so for the amateur person I think that the tolerances here, here will suffice so unless you're really looking for something crazy professional with tolerances that that are um, extremely accurate then this hundred dollar range power supply will probably not do it for you anyway another function that I wanted to show you is the four memory buttons here so suppose you wanted to have four uh, different voltages or amperages, but suppose you wanted to check a voltage range in a circuitry. 
and uh, you would just go ahead and switch between them. The way you program this power supply is by as follows. So right now you have 10 volts on this, 5 volts on this, 15 on this, and 30 on this. We'll, we'll make this one 5 volts. So to program it you do a long press and you go ahead and change the voltage to whatever you want it to and then you just switch to something else. Now let's program this one to 10 volts. Long press. And uh, let's do the 2 amps too. And uh, that's it basically. So now, so now this one is 5, this one is 10, this one is 15, and let's make this one 20. So to make this one 20, long press. And this is what's nice about it. You just want to uh, switch to 20 volts, move the digit selector, and just tap it one time. And basically that's it. It's already programmed with 20. So this one is 15, this one is 20, this one is 10, and this one is 5. All right, so let's uh, move ahead to our testing portion where I'm going to show you the different ranges and what the voltmeter is showing. Okay, so I uh, connected the uh, power supply to the voltmeter and right now where the output is off, you can see that it has a minus 0 0.1 volts in the outputs. So something you should be aware of that it doesn't zero out completely. If you want to really zero it out, you gotta turn it off. All right, so five five volts. I'll turn the uh, voltage on or turn the output on. Five oh one, five oh two. It's not bad. Let's see if we, uh, let's just go ahead and switch to 10 volts. And turn it back on. So the voltmeter is showing 10.03. Let's uh, go ahead and try to uh, raise the voltage. And as you can see, it will raise the voltage on the fly when, uh, when you adjust it with the wheel. And uh, the reason is because this wheel will not will not change anything if it accidentally is bumped. These, however, if you accidentally bump them, you don't want them to fry your circuitry if you accidentally touch one of them. So I think it's a good uh, precautionary safety uh, feature. All right, so uh, I'm going to change the voltage all the way down to zero and I will and at zero this one actually shows zero let me move the range a little less zero is zero all right I'm going to move it to the point to one decimal to to change the voltage and we'll see how it adjusts so I'm not going to speak out the voltages, but you can see both of them on the screen and see for yourself what the accuracy is. After two volts, I'm going to go ahead and skip in one volt increments. All right, so two is actually two, very accurate, good. So now we're gonna skip in one volt increments.
you notice that the did, you you heard the relays change uh, circuitry depending on the uh, voltage. And 31 is the maximum voltage that this power supply will give you, even though it says 30. I guess they 30 30.99, and they rounded to 31. All right, so uh, you know what? Let me do also a test with some load on it. All right, so right now I put some load on it, and uh, we're at six, six volts, and the amperage is uh, at a maximum of three. And there's no over protection or over voltage protection, and we're gonna enable the output, and you'll see what happens. Yeah. So if we put, if we connect the, if we press the over current protection, and we lower the amp to below that, below that threshold then the unit just shuts off. So let me try to turn back on to see what happens. It will just not turn on because the circuitry wants to draw more than one amp. So if I go ahead and raise it to 1.5 and click on, it should turn back on. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm uh, probably, if there's enough requests, I'll probably do the uh, demo for the software. And uh, if you have any questions or you have any requests or you want me to test anything, just uh, put it in the comment box. And, uh, you know, it may take me a while, uh, but I'll try to get to it as fast as I can. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please, please thumb up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Till next time.